Hello and welcome back to the channel. How would you like an opportunity to photograph a relatively bright comet in the not too distant future, as early as late April, early May? I know, I was excited about that too. So stay with us. We're going to look at the potential to image Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. Thanks for joining us. So on March 10th, one of the listservs I'm on, one of the members sent out an email with a couple of links to some resources that were documenting a most recent outburst in a comet called 2019 Y4 Atlas. And so I started looking into those resources, and I'm going to put links to those two resources in the description below. But just know that the predictions call for this to get as bright as maybe two magnitude could even be brighter. And we don't know about tail predictions right now, but this outburst might lead to a brightness that is going to exceed what the predicted levels are. We don't know. Comets can be uh, very finicky to predict. Just put this on your radar, that Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas could be a photographic target. Now, what do you need to think about? I would say at minimum, a good telescopic target is definitely coming our way. And this is going to be in the late April, early May time period, probably for best photographic opportunities. I'll show you here in a second the path in the sky that the comet will follow during the predicted brightest portion. I'm not seeing any really good combinations with deep sky objects that you could get in the same composition, but this could be just a great comet to photograph, at least telescopically, at least 400 millimeter focal lengths and higher. I think there's a good chance it will be a good telephoto photographic opportunity, you know, maybe 100 millimeters and up. And there's the outside chance that it could be as bright and with a spectacular tail to get into a landscape photographic opportunity with more normal lenses. So I'm going to hold off on that prediction. It looks like a great opportunity here. If it's not on your radar, please put it on your radar today because it's definitely on mine. So let's take a look at the path of this comet through these critical brightest days opportunity and see where this thing is going to be in the sky and where to look. Before we jump into Sky Safari Plus, I've narrowed the window of following this comet in the sky to the period where the predicted magnitude is going to be above 10 or above binocular magnitude and up as high as 4 or brighter. So I think all this should be photographic for us depending on whether it's a telescope or a long telephoto or a normal lens. The period is basically going to be from mid-April to the end of May, 1st of June. So let's dive into Sky Safari Plus. Now what I want to do is review the path of the comet in the sky. This is going to be starting on Saturday, April 25th. I'm keeping it right around the end of dusk. Probably still in astronomical twilight here. It's almost dark. Maybe toward the end of astronomical twilight. 9.56 p.m. April 25th. So if we go forward, you'll see the comet come in up at the top. It's coming in through the constellation Camello Partilis. And as we progress through, we're now up to May 1st. You can see it continues to work through Camello Partilis and you're starting to head down into Perseus. You can see how it's progressing around May 15th. And it's getting pretty low to the horizon and we're still around, I believe we were, we're probably close enough to photograph this. I believe the magnitude prediction, we're getting pretty close to the maximum magnitude prediction here on May 18th. And there's no moon uh, at play here. It looks, I think if I remember, we're looking to the northwest. Now we will have a moon that will be progressing across the sky. It looks like we get close to full moon around May 8th. So the moon may be providing too much brightness there in the last part of 
April, the first few days of May. So to me, it looks like the window, the best window is going to be right around May 15th. Somewhere around May 15th, May 10th through May 18th. Starts to get real dicey because it gets so low on the horizon. So while I'm assessing this, I'm going to say get the moon out of the way. We are looking probably somewhere around May 10th to May 15th, 16th for the ideal imaging window for this Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. Okay, what you see here is in Sky Safari Plus, I have two photographic fields representing the comet on Thursday, May 14th at 9.56 p.m. The inner rectangle is representing about a 480 millimeter focal length with a APS-C size sensor. That's my astrophysics stowaway, 92 millimeter with an APS-C size sensor on it. The outer rectangle that you see is a 135 millimeter focal length APS-C size sensor on it. So you can get an idea, it looks like that 135 to, you know, up to as much as 500 full frame sensor might be a pretty good photographic composition around that May 14th time period. That's right before we really start to lose it in the glare of the horizon. So this has been a bonus video. We wanted to get you up to speed on this Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. Check out those links. A lot more information provided on the orbital elements and the predicted magnitudes. And you're going to want to stay in touch with those websites to see how this is progressing. Hone your skills on finding this comet. It's going to get to binocular magnitude here in not too distant future. Get familiar with that northwest part of the sky, these constellations we just talked about. Get your long telephoto techniques in gear because you might have a nice opportunity to photograph this Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas in the next few weeks. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Thanks so much for joining me for this special bonus video edition with breaking news on Comet 2019 Y4 Atlas. And please, if you capture a great image, send me a link to it. I want to see it. And best wishes on clear skies for that May 10 through 15 window time period. That looks like our best opportunity. So until next time, clear skies.